What's up everybody, Magic with RacingNews.com here to give an analysis of the Amsterdam Stakes coming to you from Saratoga on uh, Friday, July 28th, check day, not Saturday yet. Saturday is going to have some big races. You got the Jim Nady and the Vanderbilt Handicap at Saratoga, the Bing Crosby Stakes and the San Diego Handicap at Del Mar. You can get all previews for that over at RacingDudes.com and YouTube.com slash RacingDudes. But the Amsterdam is going to be a crucial race as well because even though there's only a field of five entered to uh, go six and a half furlongs on the dirt, these are some of the best three-year-old sprinters in the country by far. Uh, you've got Drew's Golden here who's going to be the heavy favorite. But there's also some interesting horses. Rivet riding a five-race win streak, including the last three in stakes. Uh, Gilmore, who loves to just trunk up and hit the board, hasn't quite gotten the perfect setup to get the win at this level. And then there's New York Thunder, who uh, was a horse I was very keen on playing in the Woody Stevens stakes, and then he scratched out of it, but he had drawn the rail and he was working lightning fast on dirt, even though he'd never raced on dirt before. So I was curious to see him in that spot. He scratched out of it. He's going to show up here. Let's take a look. If you want to watch the replay with me, I've got the link for it right down below in the comments section, and I'll let you know. I'm going to hit play on this, and they're going to break for the gate in three, two, one. There they go, they're off. Ooh, a little bit of a stumble for the five rivet, who was a horse I was very excited to see here uh, for Steve Asmussen and Ricardo Santana Jr. Uh, from the sixth post, New York Thunder straight out to the lead. And that horse, again, I just, I, like I said, was just working so fast on dirt. If you watch some of his races on synthetic and turf, it's also just alarmingly impressive for how fast he goes. Uh, Drew's gold has uh, had to take back a little bit and go off the rail, but he's going to track right outside him. Rivet recovered in third. Uh, Deer, Dist Deer District for Dale Romans is in fourth. Gilmore way behind there, and he is a closer. He'd think a six and a half furlongs that that would help him, but five horse field, I don't know. He's, he's not looking too great back there. I read's already to the whip in there at the quarter pole. Uh, 21 and two for New York Thunder, 43 and a half. Uh, and Tyler Gaffleon right at the quarter pole there just takes a peek back. He's looking to see where Rivet's at, I think, and, and Gilmore as well. He's opening up on him. Holy smokes. The whip is out on Drew's gold, and he is fading. New York Thunder is... He's on the wrong lead. This horse will not change leads, which is something that drives me insane, but he is just pulling away from these horses like they're nothing. Uh, right there. Wow. We're halfway uh, between the 16th pole and the finish line. He finally changes leads. Wrapped up wins by a lot Ooh, close there for a second i couldn't tell if that was drew's gold or deer district a nice effort <laughs> 114 and three is the final time on that race holy smokes that is uh that is pure racehorse time that that's 11.4 actually 11.38 seconds per final furlong or per furlong for the average for the race going six and a half furlong. you a, a horse that's never tried dirt before against a horse than Drew's Gold, who was, you know, just a, a nose hair away from being undefeated. Uh, Rivet very strong. Gilmore strong. Deer District tested on, on turf and dirt. And New York Thunder just blows them away. Holy cow. Oof. Now the question is going to be, is that your favorite for the Jerkins Memorial? I mean, if Arabian Lion doesn't show up, I don't see how this horse isn't your favorite for the grade one H. Allen Jerkins uh, at, the, at the end of the meet here. Uh, wow. That was all I can just keep saying is wow. Now the horse, again, he didn't change leads. He, he's still on the wrong lead until, you know, well past the 16th pole. He's about five strides past the 16th when he gets there. Uh, that's something that'll need to be worked on, but this was only his fourth career start and he was coming off of a bit of layoff as well. That was super impressive. Uh, now <laughs> Where it is really too bad he wasn't in the grade one Woody Stevens um, because you could have really seen something uh, insane go down in that race. But um, takes advantage of a five horse field, wasn't pressured, but he also, Drew's Gold didn't really let him have an easy way of it up front. I mean, he Drew's Gold stuck with him uh, until about the three quarters of the way through the turn, and then Tyler Gaffleone on New York Thunder just opened him up and off he took. So, super impressive effort. Uh, wow. What did you think? Let me know down below in the comments section below. Tell me your thoughts about this horse. Love to hear from you. Make sure you subscribe to youtube.com slash racing dudes. And of course, visit us at racingdudes.com for free picks for every race, every track across the country. Until next time, see you at the track. Racingdudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track. Summer's here. Our picks are heating up. We want you to join us in the fun. 
Subscribe to the Racing Dudes YouTube channel right now. Click the notification bell. You don't want to miss a single one of our awesome videos. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.